Let's do what we can in the time that we have allotted. Letting it go, but I feel anxious about getting all this stuff done. I dropped the ball. Hello and welcome back. We are headed back in to work after spring break. First and foremost, we have three IEP meetings back to back. Then it's gonna be an interesting day. Yesterday was Easter and we were kind of undecided or like not really sure what the plans were with Mark's family. Luckily his parents live within the district that I work and so we are actually going to be on my lunch break going over meeting up with Mark and his family because his brother's in town but only till two o'clock today and so I wanted to say hi. So we're gonna go over there for some Easter fun. <laughs> It's like so crazy. So I'm gonna spend like 30 minutes on my lunch break there and then head back down to my home site where we will commence with the day. But I wanted originally like today was gonna to be like, let's get our life back in order. Let's get ready for the IEP season. And it may not 100% be that today, but this week I'm taking kind of like a paperwork, like a hybrid week where I'm gonna spend a lot more time doing the paperwork and getting things in order. So I'm not too stressed by it because I have a whole week to get things done. Um, I just really wanted to like get my calendar organized today and all of that. That's okay. We'll do what we can in the time that we have allotted. It'll be an interesting day. It'll be fun. We're going we're gonna to make it fun, right? No matter what. So it is time to head out into the wild. Probably won't see you till after these IEP meetings. Okay. Three meetings down. I have one more to go later, but um, I think. Am I gotten canceled? I have to double check. Oh my gosh. But look at me. <laughs> Let's remedy this situation shall we you can see what i do to touch up my face after three iep meetings Whew! um i used a different mascara today i used a waterproof it's like the telescopic uh, is it l'oreal i'm not 100 percent sure but anyways it is supposed to be waterproof and i just was like you know what i've had this i want to I want to give it another go because it's cheaper and I want to see if, you know, by some magical thing, I like it now when I didn't like it in the past. And uh, I don't. I need to just stick with Merit. Just stick with her. She's my tried and true. Doesn't smudge. Doesn't do any of that. Doesn't give me dark circles under my eyes like this one did. So, but that's also probably lack of sleep from last night. I'm going to touch up these circles with my Merit stick thing. What is it called? Minimalistic, you guys, you know that feeling? I just feel, I think it's too much caffeine. Too much caffeine, very little water. I need to drink more water. I just feel so jittery right now. After three meetings, my brain just kind of feels, it's like that feeling of feeling completely blah mixed with overstimulation. I'm just what really overstimulated right now. Let's head to Mark's parents for a quick hang. And then... Then we'll head back into it. Okay. Made it back to my speech room. Getting my life together. Let's get our life together, Marie. I am just looking at my calendar, getting my to-do list all set up on my little whiteboard that stays near my desk. Gonna like put a priority list in my phone of what reports to get done by when this week. So that way starting tomorrow morning, I am just grinding, getting them done. So, all right, let's go. My productivity is shot. Like there's no point in even trying. So I've set up my priority list. Um, I am, so this week we, my Slippa and I have this list of the words that are coming up to teach for our core words. Like we're filling in the rest of this board, right? So the word is supposed to be that. And she had originally checked it off saying she did it. And I was, she's here today with another SLP. And I was like, where is that? Where's the word that? We could not find it. So I just was like, let's just switch it up. We'll teach get this week. And then we will do that next week. I am going to do circle times this week for two of my sites. And then she's doing one for the other site. And she'll run centers at the other site, but I will not be doing centers because 
I have so much paperwork to do, like an enormous amount of paperwork I want to get done. So I'm kind of rescheduling things. I'll be pulling kids to test um, or I'll be pushing in to do observations, but that is absolutely it. Right now I have about 20 more minutes here and then I'm going to head out. So I'm just going to do a quick organizational file some papers, that type of moment. So my brain just, I like the focus is hard right now. One thing I am going to do this week is because I have so many transitions coming up, I am going to be doing a lot of screenings and just very like informal assessments. And so, hello. I'm gonna be using the Articulation Test Center Hive. This is a Little Bee Speech tool or application that um, if you don't know, I love Little Bee Speech. I use their Articulation Station. I used that for years. I use their Articulation Station Hive like three times a week at least, if not more with my kids. It's so preschool friendly. It's um, so good for working on Arctic sounds for phonological processes. Um, and you can go anywhere from isolation to the conversational level with the different activities and options they have. I love it too, cause you can like modify. I add in my own cards, like flashcards for the kids. Like if there's specific stories we're working on, I can add in the words that have their sound that pertain to that story. So like, I love it. I'm gonna do all my Arctic screeners on here and it's gonna be easy cause I'm traveling. So I don't have to like bring a bunch of protocols or anything. So they have a screener based on developmental age. So most of my kids are in the four, eight, four year range. So I am just going to be looking at all these developmentally appropriate sounds. And then you can put in like what student you're working with. Some of my students already have their initials in here. So that's great because it transferred. Once I signed up for this, it's under my Hive subscription and it transferred all of my like groups or my, my kids over here. So it already knows what sounds they're working on or what goals I've put in for the kids, but I can add a new student. So like, as I'm doing this, I'm probably gonna do it for all my students just to get a good idea of where they're at. So I can then pop that whatever, comes out of this screener, I can pop that into my report. So I'll share more as I do it this week. Again, I've played with it, but haven't done it IRL. So <laughs> this is really exciting to get to kind of showcase. I have so much to do. So I'm gonna sit for the next 20 minutes before I head out and just brain dump. We're brain dumping. This is the brain dumping part of the day. Instead of planning, we are now brain dumping. I need a good pen located. very crisp and, and nice like felt like spring but still like chilly and it was just refreshing kind of woke us up a little bit um, had some dinner hung out for a little while watching a show and then I am going to wash my face it's nine o'clock I am washing my face and getting into bed I'm just we're calling it a night gonna do a little bit of journaling and just relax maybe a little bit of stretches before bed and then actually yes because I've been religiously doing like stretches to help you get good sleep um and so i'm gonna do a little bit of that before i i officially close my eyes and turn in for the night but i just wanted to to say good night um and i will see you tomorrow good morning happy tuesday i just got in um paperwork day number one i am gonna do my mini circle time lesson so that's the plan. I'm just gonna get logged in. I know what I wanna do first. I was driving over here and I was like, my priority is scoring these AAC assessments that I still haven't scored. I was supposed to do that over break and I didn't do it. No surprises. Um, so I'm gonna sit and score those. So I'll probably like pop my headphones in, be super focused. At some point, I got a text last night from one of the district coordinators and I think my iPads are ready to trial for the kids that I'm testing. So at some point, she's either coming by here or I need to go pick those up. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. So on standby for that. But let's um, let's commence with some paperwork, eh? Circle time was so good. I did the 500 Ants song like this. This song, it's just like a little chant and I didn't make the song board, I've had it, but um, so I can't, I. I think we just made it on board maker and the song 
screenshot, feel free. It's just a little chant, like five hungry ants marching in a line. Maybe I'll put the I'll put the song lyrics down below for you. Um, I did that song with them and then taught them the sign and the core word for get. Um, get, like, yeah. Um, and it was a hit. I. The, the sign in the song didn't really like coordinate, but they're learning about bugs and critters and stuff. So I thought this is a fun song, fun way to kind of unify the circle time in the class. And I don't do that enough um, in my circle times because I feel like everything, I'm just like trying to get the words taught, but I do do stories and stuff. I just haven't done a song. I think they're so fun and I, you know, I love songs for language. So yeah, it was good. Now I have my to-do list on a post-it. Um, I am, I'm getting cracking. All right, just got done with lunch. I'm gonna go do circle time in the PM class, but I have been sitting here grinding, straight grinding. Um, and I'm pretty proud of myself, making progress. We're getting things done. My phone is dying really fast today. Every once in a while this happens, I don't understand why, but I may not be able to get more footage if my phone dies because I don't have a charger. So, and I have 15, which means nobody else has a charger I can borrow. Um, but just wanted to, just wanted to check in. Done for the day. Um, I did not get as much done today as I had hoped. However, I officially have completed an entire AAC evaluation report, my very first one. And that feels really, really good because I have a second one to do, but I feel like now I can streamline the process a little bit tomorrow. Um, so my morning tomorrow is gonna be finishing that report and then starting another one. Um, I did not get to my screenings today, but I am going to come back here either Thursday or Friday and do those screenings because, and I think what I'm gonna do is like focus on the paperwork and then get as much done as I can by tomorrow. And then just like, if, you know, travel around Thursday and Friday and get those screenings done to show you, well, not just to show you, but to get them done. But also I wanna show you the Little V Speech um, Articulation Station Test Center. We'll get there. But uh, Mark, I think is just getting home from Costco. Thank goodness for him. He was like, I'll go to Costco, don't worry. Cause I was like, do I put in an Instacart order? We need food. So I'm gonna go home. I have a couple things I need to get edited for um, a brand partnership that I need to get sent over to them so they can okay it for a video to go live this week. And then work out, eat dinner, and then improv. I just got done working out. Um, it's, we have like 40 minutes till we need to leave for improv and we still need to eat. But I did get my video edited, I sent it in. Do I just put on my outfit from earlier? It was, again, so comfy. And <laughs> putting on the same outfit after um, my shower, which I don't even know if I showed you today, but I'm wearing my Abercrombie trousers with this just a basic Madewell t-shirt. Madewell does their t-shirts so well. <laughs> they, um, they last me such a long time. So I've had this one. They're like my, especially for someone like me who's really been trying to have more of a capsule wardrobe, having just like basic t-shirts that are good quality that I can kind of style with anything, like put them with trousers. They look a little more dressed up. Put them with jeans, like you're super casual. Like, you know, you can do Birkenstocks, you can do tennis shoes. You could, I could wear, I could wear heels with this, I guess, but I wouldn't because I don't, work like that. But I put these trousers on and I just realized the hem came out of one of the legs. I use, I started using this a couple weeks ago and I love it, the Ilia Skin Tint, like Super Serum Skin Tint. It's been really great on my face, but like right now it looks super dewy, which I don't mind the dewy, but I worked out. Now I have the moisture from the shower. So right now it's like super dewy. I'm gonna actually add to the dewy and add a little plumping mist just for a little extra moisture. Cause why not? But what I notice when I do this is it sets, it like resets itself. Go ahead, do your thing, Ilya, reset. This is such a good like two in one product cause I use it as like a toner. I also can use it almost as like a makeup setter or like a refresh throughout the day. And as always, you, you know I'm a Primally Pure girl. Morris 10 gets you 10% off at Primally Pure. I will link it below. I also use their deodorant. I basically use everything that they have for like my basic skincare. Ooh, we gotta leave in like 30 minutes and we still haven't eaten. Okay, we're gonna go eat some dinner, do some improv. Eat some dinner, do some improv. We made it to improv. I got to be passenger princess. So I didn't do the best job that I've ever done vlogging during improv, but I didn't do the worst. You saw us get there. I shouldn't have worn my cute trousers because I did in fact roll on the floor. Once, one time. One time I fully, I did a fully committed roll and 
Yeah, she did. It would not have been appropriate for Mark to like pull the camera out and film that whole scene, but I got. What else did I do on? There was something else. No? I don't know. I don't know, but mainly I rolled on the floor. I am going to call it a night and I will reconvene with you tomorrow. Good morning. Oh my gosh, you guys. I slept, like my alarm went off and then I turned it off and fell back asleep. So, hair is up. We, I'm just, I feel so thrown together today. And I also feel extremely, like my allergies are on a good one. Uh, I have so much to do. But another thing that I'm gonna do this morning before I like sit down and focus, because once I sit down, I'm like, okay, that's it. That's what I'm doing. I have iPads to pick up, which I'm so excited about. If you've seen the vlog, like before spring break, you know, I was kind of waiting on my trial iPads for my AAC assessments. And they came in and I believe they're ready. I think I feel anxious. I'm just letting it go, but I feel anxious about getting all this stuff done. There's there's a lot right now. It's gonna be a fun learning process of figuring out how to not get burnt out through just letting these feelings go and not holding on to them. The stress, I mean. Um, so I'm kind of excited to learn how to do that. <laughs> I almost dropped him, sorry. Ow, I just dropped a charger on my foot. Okay, we're ready to write a report. I was really trying to make it down to one of my sites today to do a screening, but that's not for me, that's for like another couple weeks. So I have time for that. But I also wanted to touch base with the teacher because we have some meetings to still schedule. And I just don't think I'm gonna make it. And I'm kind of in this weird zone of like, I really wanna do that to support my team, like to make it there. But like, I have to get this stuff done. Um, so I emailed the teacher and I said, if I don't make it down today, here's some dates. Does this work for you? Like, plug me in. Um, so I'm. it's interesting. And then I wanted to touch base with another SLP because she's like on the receiving end of some of my kids going into TK and kinder. And she's at that site. So we were going to touch base. And I had to text her and be like, can we chat on the phone? Like, I just have to be okay and accepting of the capacity that I have right here, right now. I'm, I'm focusing on letting go of like the expectation I set for myself to do all these things in one day because I'm ready to write this report. It's gonna take me maybe 45 more minutes and then I can get started on some other things, but like those things really need to get started on today too. So let's write a report. home. I had to run to Costco and get gas after work and it was crazy. I probably waited for like 25 minutes just in line. Um, so, but I, you know, we're home, whatever. <laughs> My eyes are so tired from looking at a computer for the last like four hours, but I do have a video going out tomorrow, which means I need to finish editing it and uploading it to YouTube. So it's beautiful outside. I think I'm going to grab a glass of water and a snack Go sit out on my patio while I edit. Hello, happy Thursday. Just wanted to say a quick good morning. Um, check in with the vlog. I am getting ready for just another paperwork day. So <laughs> it's not too much different than yesterday, but I am going to head up to the preschool class in a moment to do circle time. I did have a chance to go through and use the Little Bee Speech Hive test center um, to do my screener specifically for this report that I'm about to write. So let me get it set up. I'm gonna show you how that all worked and what I did and then the coolest thing that it does. So you don't have to like screenshot to save like the report or anything like that. So when I pull up the test center, I have two choices to do a screener or the full test. I'm gonna do a screener. I'll show you how I did that today. So my client's three years old. I'm gonna select him here and begin. As I was giving it to him, what I actually did, hit record and then I started. And the recordings on this, the system knows what recording is paired with which word or which flashcard. So when we recorded map, like it stays with map. And then I can go back in, play the recording, and then I can um, mark the errors or the substitutions. And the way you do that, super easy. So that way you're not doing it like while you're screening them because that would take way too long. And especially with the preschooler, I think would lose their interest really fast. 
So it just makes it super easy to go through and fast. It also cues if you tap it. So if you choose to do it that way, you could. I also feel like this would be really easy to do, like if you are virtual and you do Zoom sessions, to screen share and have this because you would have your assessment or your screener easily seen by by the child. So I feel like that's a really cool option. So if everything's correct, it's obviously green and these are the targets for this specific card. If they didn't produce the correct um, sound or approximation of the sound and they had an error, then, then you would go into the error menu and choose whatever they substituted. If they did an approximation of the sound, you click it again and it should turn yellow. There we go. And then if they omitted the sound, you just do that. So like for uh, final consonant deletion, that's pretty much what I was doing. So once you have completed, I, now this is just for the screener. Once I've completed the screener, I go in and you can pull up all these different reports. So like this one is the one where I can just use this summary to then pop into, like obviously I might change some of the wordings, like the scores and stuff into my report. And then you get the, um, like more of the narrative, like what sound errors and all of that. So I can use what I need. Um, recommendation is in here, like just super, super cool stuff. And then the whole breakdown of what was seen. So if you wanted to like copy and paste this into a report, you could. When I want to save all of this, instead of having to email it to myself or copy and paste, I mean, you can email it to yourself. It's hooked up to my account. I'll just upload it there. I already did it, so I don't need to do that again. But you can like choose what folder, like super, that is super easy, user-friendly. It wasn't that long to do because I was recording it with him, so it only took max 15 minutes, I think. Um, it's very quick, very easy, very user-friendly for the preschoolers especially, so. If you are interested in that, my code is Marie10. <laughs> that gets you 10% off your first subscription of Hive, and then you can include Test Center in that. You download them separately, but you can include them. So, love them, love that. And, uh, okay, back to the report writing. All right, I'm at <laughs> Sprouts. I was on my way um, home, well actually, Earlier today, I happened to notice on my phone, it was National Burrito Day. Like I got an email or I saw it somewhere. And um, I was like, oh, that's fun. Mark and I like burritos. So I'm at Sprouts. He's getting some chicken and rice started at home. And we're gonna make like Chipotle style burritos. I'm gonna pick up some gluten-free tortillas here that I really like. I think they're the Siete brand. I'll show you. Well, it started raining. And uh, <laughs> that's the way the cookie crumbles. But got the goods, let's go home and make burritos. It's Friday. My plan today is I'm super excited because I am going to deliver iPads. So I'm going to go deliver the one to my eighth grader that I've been assessing so we can start trialing. So I'm headed to that site first and then I'm going to my Friday site where my second um, student that I'm evaluating is and we're going to get him set up with his. So I'm so excited. Just have to get ourselves out the door. rain can we take a moment i feel like i'm gonna cry right now i'm having i'm just i feel overloaded with emotion <sighs> just need to breathe i just dropped off this ipad the slp first of all i love this team like i just love the slps i work with she just like took it she's like yeah like whatever you say like we'll try it we'll start trialing this app whatever blah 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 and like i thought like maybe she'd want me to like go with her to like you know, check in and like bring it to the student. Um, I don't think he's here today or he's going on a field trip because they have a field trip going, <laughs> getting ready. So that's probably why she was just like, I'll just take it and I'll start Monday. Like, and I was just like, really? Like, I don't have to, like, you're good? Like, I just, 
so that was cool. And then the thought, just like the passing it over, the act of passing over this device for a student after doing this evaluation, after seeing what he needs, after just the, like, just, I just feel so hopeful and optimistic. And I just see where this could take him. Um, and I, I feel this is, this is why I'm an SLP because this is, this is what happens when I'm like assessing kids and doing these things and writing goals and stuff like even on a micro level, but like, this is, to me, this is like just getting this device in the hands of somebody, a communicator that needs it is so powerful and I'm so excited for him. So I just got really like overwhelmed with emotion and, um, I'm so grateful and I get to go do it one more time. We're going to take the second device down to my student. So I'm going to hopefully get to like, get some footage of me, um, introducing that to him. How exciting is that? How exciting is that? Oh my gosh. This is for you to share what you think and feel. How do you feel? Do you feel happy or sad? I like black them with my plate. Eat cookies. Eat cookies. Such a good morning. <laughs> Um, I sat with my student, just got him introduced to his device during snack time, which is just such a perfect time I've noticed, at least for preschoolers, because there's so much motivation, there's so much social, there's so many choice making opportunities, which is just something he excels in already. So it was just easy to kind of introduce that there. I modeled it. He started getting really into finding the buttons that he wanted. And then um, it was really cool because he was kind of timid with like pushing them. I think I have a clip, maybe I do. But I would say, it's okay, you can touch it, you can tell me. And then he would do it and it was just exciting for him. And, and just like that, the week, the work week is over. Um, I was just reflecting as the day ended on, as the school day ended, on how crazy it is that like this week was so heavy in paperwork, but with mindset we can achieve so much in terms of like just feeling calm and and while I had deadlines I was really up against like I had six reports to get done by last night um or by yesterday afternoon like that was my personal deadline today was the real deadline and I got them all done and then today I got to go back and like fill in the IEP information and go in to the reports and like edit things my mentor looked over my AAC reports I feel so much better now that everything's done but like even leading up to it just getting to practice letting go and getting to really sit in the uncomfortability almost of not having the things done and knowing my to-do list was only growing like <laughs> was a good practice of relaxing and letting it go and not letting myself get stressed out because I'm like going into the weekend feeling grateful for the week I just had versus so glad it's over. Like, does that make sense? And something I meant to talk about was the whole idea of collaboration. So this is my first year at three sites. I was at two sites last year and I, you know, had just barely, barely learned how to navigate the idea of collaborating with two different sets of teams. And when my students are transitioning, they're leaving me and going to another SLP for their TK or kinder year. And it's a lot of, you know, every, I respect that every clinician does things differently. I respect that we all have different backgrounds and learning styles and teaching styles and all of that. This year, the transition season kind of snuck up on me really fast and I dropped the ball and I'm owning up to it. In that piece of collaborating with SLPs as these transition meetings come up, I work with SLPs that want to be you know super involved in that i work with slps that are like whatever you say marie we trust you like we are all again we're all just different and um i you know was back and forth with one of my colleagues this week trying to find a time just to chat the other day two days ago i you know received an email that felt a certain way now i'm reading an email i'm not talking to this person directly they're not directly telling me you know this is how it is this is how i feel but the way i read into it was oh you know I'm my services and what I recommend isn't being trusted or it's not um, deemed appropriate. But I got really in my head and was really having to like really practice letting go of my ego because I was feeling in the moment when I read an e you know, read the specific email like I don't I don't think you know what you're doing. Essentially, that's how I took it. I'm not saying that's that's what was said, but I took it as somebody doesn't trust my judgment. Somebody doesn't trust what I'm doing. 
dang it, I'm a good clinician. I know these kids. I've worked with these kids. And I had to really step back and I had to take a little bit of time. And on Wednesday, I did. I like the way I thought about it was, is this situation, what I'm reading into, is it really that big of a deal? Like, I'm going to have a conversation with this colleague of mine, you know, and we'll talk about it. We'll collaborate. But I think what happened was I got so in my head because I knew I dropped the ball and I felt really insecure about that. Like I, because I do love to collaborate. I do pride myself in being able to go to my colleagues and say like, Hey, like, what do you think about this? This is what I'm doing. This is working. And it just got so, my schedule got so comp like jam packed. And I did, I did, I, I overlooked something I should have weeks ago said, Hey, these meetings are coming up. Like, can we chat about these kids? Can we talk beforehand? And I didn't, you know, it's, it's just a good lesson for me going in. Did we talk about it? Did we have a conversation and and like, is everything great? Yes. And I, I think I had to like get to that point in my brain where I kind of told my mind, stop it with these thoughts, stop it with these what ifs let go, relax. It's going to be okay. And it is. Um, but all that to say, like, we all have our moments, whether there's a lot going on in our lives and we drop the ball somewhere, um, or whether it's like directly work related and we drop the ball there and it's okay. One, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to mess up. We can do better next time Two, It's okay to admit that we messed up and just tell those people like, I am so sorry. I did mess this up or I dropped the ball or whatever, like own up to it. There's nothing wrong with that. As an SLP, as a clinician, my my focus and my goal are my students. That's what I've been doing all week. While I haven't directly been with them, I've been writing reports and racking my brain, coming up with goals, looking at progress, all for them, making sure that I'm putting the right things in place for their speech and language and overall their communication and their enjoyment and love to interact. It's all for them. But am I going to make mistakes? Yes, I am. And I'm going to move on from them. I'm going to let them go and I'm going to learn from them. And that's the beauty of being a human. I hope that was, you know, a nice, a nice, fun little pep talk going into the weekend. I'm going to end this vlog here. Thanks for writing reports with me and keeping me entertained. (laughs) I know it wasn't a student heavy week. I know I don't have a lot of stories to share about my interactions with the kids, but we got to get a lot done and you got to see that side of things. And sometimes that's how it is. I hope you have a great rest of your day, whatever day it is for you. And uh, I will catch you later. Bye friends. (laughs) 